You're watching Channel 2, Houston's home for news. Today, Texas Attorney General Ken Paxton issued an opinion in response to the legality of online gaming, saying it should be prohibited. Yeah, he claims that popular fantasy sites like FanDuel are operating illegally under Texas law. Channel 2 Sports Director Randy McElvoy spoke with a former prosecutor and is joining us now in studio with what this means for players of these games. Randy? Yeah, Bill, Sarah, this type of situation has been coming up all across the country with six states already banning the daily fantasy sites. Now the question is, could Texas be next? Daily sports betting has exploded over the last few years. So when Dwight Howard goes off like last night for 36 points and 26 rebounds, that's great news for the fantasy players that selected Howard for their daily lineup. But here in Texas, daily fantasy sports betting could be on its way out. Today, Texas Attorney General Ken Paxton issued an opinion on fantasy sports betting saying when the house takes a cut based on the performance of a participant, it is prohibited gambling. He added, odds are favorable that a court would conclude that participation in daily fantasy sports leagues is illegal gambling. However, local attorney and former assistant DA Steve Schellis stresses this is merely an opinion. Judges don't have to rely on it. They could rely on it. DA's offices don't have to rely on it. They could rely on it. It's nothing more than an opinion. Dallas Mavericks owner Mark Cuban also weighed in via Twitter saying to Paxton, what a disappointment, referring to daily fantasy sports. You certainly don't represent the views of Texans. There's a federal law that's even more protective of fantasy football leagues and fantasy sports betting because it carves out an exception and says, we're okay with it. So why would the federal government be okay with it, but then a state wouldn't? Peter Shanky, who is the chairman of the Fantasy Sports Trade Association, issued a hard rebuttal for Paxton's opinion today, saying the FSTA opposes today's opinion. So a lot to be discussed in the coming months and days ahead, but a hot topic across the country. Today. Absolutely. Yes. A couple of former Houston police officers are in the paper today in trouble mm -hmm. for this very kind of thing, and their lawyer claiming, well, you're not going after the big boys. Mm. Well, Lots of money us. in this industry. A lot of money industry. out there. Yeah, the biggest prostitution and anything else just about. Yeah. Thank you, Randy. All right. Thank you.